This may not be something that you want to hear, but if you're an entrepreneur, this is absolutely something that you need to hear. And that is that working more does not make you deserving of more. Last night I had a coaching session with one of my coaches in the US and uh, it was such a profound conversation about something that, that I believe so strongly and <clears throat> after the coaching call, I, re I journaled a lot about it and I wanted to share my notes with you today on this live video. And that it's really about the fact that working more does not make you deserving of more, right? As I said in the beginning. No one, and, and I'm gonna share some of my notes that I, that I took down in that coaching session. And that's because no one is just gonna hand you success because you think that you've worked for it, because you think that you've earned it. And that's because success for an entrepreneur has nothing to do with, uh, with the work ethic or despite, and that's despite what anybody else might tell you, working harder and longer is not what's gonna bring about success. Yet, if you continue to measure your productivity on how long and how intense you worked yesterday and the day before, well, that's simply an unsustainable path to burning out and probably to, to bankrupting your business. I mean, how many struggling entrepreneurs do you know that, that are relying on their hustle and working longer hours and they're in front of their laptops for 12 to 14 hours a day, but they have absolutely nothing to show for it? I'm sure you can think of an entrepreneur, somebody that you know right now that comes to mind. And if you think about it, working harder and longer, well, that's actually easy. I mean, a quick motivational video on YouTube and an extra cup of coffee, well, that can give you the extra motivation and the hustle to keep pushing on into the long hours of the night. But what if you're hustling on all the wrong stuff? What if all of that massive action is actually taking your business in the wrong direction? You see, most entrepreneurs struggle not because they, uh, they're willing to work harder or longer. That's the easy part. But they struggle because they're not willing to work harder on the things that really count. You know, the things that put everything on the line, the things that where you're taking a big risk or you're putting yourself out there, where you're putting yourself out beyond your comfort zone, where you're risking um, failure or you're risking getting a big fat no. But any successful entrepreneur knows that the growth that you're seeking comes when you put yourself out there, when you go outside your comfort zone and that's often where you might just get the yes for your business and see that extra leap of growth in your business. Um, all successful entrepreneurs know this and they know that working harder and longer is not the answer. And it's just about getting yourself outside your comfort zone and focusing your business on results. In short, while struggling entrepreneurs focus, their work, focus on their work ethic and their effort as their competitive advantage, thriving entrepreneurs focus on accomplishing results. Now that's a key thing here. And when you do that, your work ethic and the time that you put in, that all becomes irrelevant. You know, if I wanted a swimming pool, a whole dug for my swimming pool, would it be more valuable to me if a team came in with 20 guys and they spent seven days digging that hole? Or if somebody came in with a back actor and dug that hole in 30 minutes, the result means the same to me. But how often do we, do we look at our own businesses that way, where we think if we put more time and more effort into something, the end result is gonna be, it's gonna be more valuable. It's just counterintuitive, isn't it? You know, you don't have to prove anything to anybody to have the business of your dreams. So we have a choice. You can either continue to work hard and to work long hours on the little things and to see little growth, if any, or, and, and, you know, and you can do that expecting that someday something magical is gonna change in your life to bring about the results that you want, or you can change right now. You see, when, you, when you're results driven, you realize that working longer and harder isn't the path, but working, working less on the hard things, well, that's what's gonna bring about the change that you want. And for those of you that joined the live late, I'm reading my notes after a coaching session with one of my coaches overseas that I spoke to last night about the fact that so many entrepreneurs think that working longer and harder is what's going to bring about the results, where that is not the truth. You know there's 80% there's 80 of your work that delivers, um, or you know, the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. There's 20% of your work that delivers 80% of the results. Those are the hard things, those are the difficult things, so those are the things that we often ignore. We procrastinate focusing on keeping ourselves busy with busyness. I'm sure you've had it where you've had a really busy day and at the end of the day you look back and you think, hey, I was so busy the whole day, I ticked off all these things on my list, but what did I actually accomplish? What did I actually do? Did I do the important things? Did I phone that important customer? Did I phone that supplier? Did I put in the order? Those are the important things, but most of the time we procrastinate and we get busy with, with busyness. We focus on working in the business instead of on the business. When you do that, you're not gonna see the growth that you want. You're not gonna see the results that you want. You're not gonna see the success that you want. So I'd love to encourage you guys to adopt this principle where we wanna focus on working on the hard things. And that's what's gonna bring about the results that you are so longingly wanting in your business.
That's it for today. Chat to you guys soon.